We're less than five hours away from tonight's Mega Millions lottery drawing, and you guessed it, the estimated jackpot, it has grown again. We're talking $1.28 billion. So the excitement, it's also growing. Compare this to Tuesday's jackpot. That was $800 million, a measly $800 million. Ticket sales, though, more than doubled in the 1 o'clock hour, then $927,000 on Tuesday to $2.3 million today. So now in the 2 p.m. hour, we're looking at more than a million dollars. On Tuesday, it was nearly $2.6 million today. In the 3 o'clock hour, we passed that $3 million mark. That did not happen at any hour last Tuesday, just so you know. So you guys are selling out the tickets. Our right, Nick Starley hanging out in Haldem City. And Nick, we know you've been out talking to folks. Asking them if they get this billion dollars, what are they going to do with it? Yeah, Nicole, wouldn't it be nice to have a billion dollars? There's endless possibilities on what you can spend that money on. Here at Holton City, at Fuel City, it's been kind of a steady stream of people trying to get those $2 tickets and really having that hope of winning that billion dollar prize. Many people I spoke with today tell me they've never played the Mega Millions before today, but wanted to see if today was just their lucky day. Now, if you do win, you could take the payments or the cash option which is just a cool $747 million. But the odds, they're not great. If you want to win, it's one in 300 million plus. But hey, there's always a chance, right? I spoke with a mathematician at the University of Texas uh, at Dallas to break down your dismal chances of getting that billion dollars. You have roughly the same chance of winning the jackpot with a single play as taking an ordinary deck of cards, shuffling it, and pulling the ace king, queen, jack, and ten of, say, hearts off the top in that order. Uh, for comparison, this is also about the chance uh, that if you flip a fair coin 28 times, then it comes up heads every time. Or it's about the chance that you get struck by lightning today. Yeah, let's not hope that happens. But he also told me another odds is like winning the NCAA tournament, uh, the March Madness bracket, two times in a row as well. And he also tells me it doesn't matter whether you pick out your numbers yourself or use the machines over here. Your odds are exactly the same. But to increase your odds, he says, to buy more tickets. It's logical, right? Uh, again, you just have a few more hours to get your tickets. The drawing is at 10 o'clock tonight. Live in Holton City, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News. Honestly, Nick, I'm still heartbroken from Tuesday. I can't bring myself to buy another ticket, but good luck, my friend. Thank you for that. By the way, we have had some lucky North Texans taking home the Mega Million jackpot in the past. The Texas Lottery tells us there's been seven winners from the DFW area, two from Dallas, Rowlett, Carrollton, Rockwall, Arlington, and Fort Worth. One winner from Dallas got $330 million jackpot. That was back in 2007, but it had to be shared with one or more of the out of state winners. They still won, though. The odds of any of us, though, picking the winners, the winning numbers, as Nick just talked about, it's astronomical. If you just so happen to be astronomically lucky, the winning ticket later tonight when you get it, what should you do? What should you do with all that money? We talked to a lottery expert. He told us to lay low. Yes, you need to call an accountant, you need to call a financial advisor, and you need to get a lawyer. Why? Because you have to protect yourself. So you want to stay anonymous, low-key, don't get on social media, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I, I, that, would, that would be impossible for me. All right, Dan Geltrude, that was who was talking there. He estimates that if you take the lump sum payment here, you'll get about $750 million. And then after taxes, don't forget about taxes, y'all. It'll be a paltry $400 million. Yeah.